are filthy and like coffee grinds can be like a sandbox, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is that coming back to campus and immediately being called motherly makes me feel super old. <laughs> you know, I was 19 when the pandemic first started and it really feels like I woke up one day, 21, and I was like, oh shit, I missed my hoe phase. <laughs> it's too late for me. And so what I did about that was I dove straight back into the dating scene and tried to like make up for lost time. What could go wrong, you ask? I've had my fair share of just like absurd encounters with men, and I will own it. Um, some of that is me. I think, I think my biggest character flaw is that I made a man in the first place. <laughs> like when another woman or a non-binary person asks me out or compliments me, I think that is just more valuable than when a man does it. Because when a man does it, I'm like, well, you probably just got dumped. <laughs> and apparently I make a good mother figure. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most cringe encounter I've had recently was the time that I was a mysterious and ethereal nymph, just only on somebody's cell phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's pretty cursed. So we were talking for a while and just reveling in the delusion. Like, do you know that feeling you get when you first start talking to a crush and you are just Neo from the Matrix. Like, red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal flaw. <laughs> and neither of you have taken the red pill or the blue pill yet. Uh, unless that blue pill is birth control. Now that I think about it, I probably would have brought my child up onto that roof with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're just like consenting to this fairy tale. Uh, that's how it was for like a long time. Until one day we were talking, and I was just like, wait, why have you already told me this story three times? And it wasn't even that good the first time. <laughs> or like, wait, why am I describing this basic fact about myself to you that like anybody could have found on my Instagram? That my first name is Manjari. <laughs> and that's when the realization hit me like a train. This person does not give a damn about me. He just thinks I'm sexy Siri. <laughs> like, beep beep. I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't think your dick is gonna fit into that charging port. <laughs> so after I realized that I was just like a figment of somebody's imagination, of course I got tunnel vision. Um, and I had this image in my head where it was 15 years from now, and I was for some reason married with a child in the compost. <laughs> and I was just like walking into the bedroom, looking all hot, and I was like, hello, my actually good husband, who knows my name. And I did like a little strip, and I was doing like a little winking, and then I was just like, Oh shit, is that not doing anything for you? So then I did this. <laughs> the things that I encounter as a woman. <laughs> but it's okay, um, because men that cross me have to live with themselves. Meanwhile, I get unlimited stand-up fodder, and therefore unlimited social capital. <laughs> I'm Mimi in the flesh. Thanks for coming out. Next up, we have Ella Stack.